Hey guys, Ben here, and welcome back to another video on The Flash Season 5, and today we're going to be doing my review for Episode 3, so if you do go on to enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment, and subscribe if you're new, so you don't miss any DC TV videos later this year. So, Episode 3 was titled The Death of Vibe, and this episode was outstanding. It is probably my favourite episode of the season so far. As you guys know, I love the past two episodes, so this was a very very good episode and I'm very very satisfied with everything that went down we've got a lot of new mysteries to talk about some different things that were teased in regards to the flash museum time travel and different changes to the timeline especially in this episode so we've got lots to break down and obviously to review so the use of darkness and humor in the different parts of the stories really works for me and you get the darkness with cicada cisco various other things like that but then you get the humor coming more with the new harrison wells which we'll talk about later and you have ralph and it all really meshes well together and I feel like season 5 is like, they're getting it perfect right now, hopefully they keep on this track, but anyway, let's go ahead and start breaking down some of the major points in the episode. So, we're not going to go chronologically, but we're going to start with the ending, because this is the main point that I want to talk about in this review. And, I'm sure many of you guys, after watching the episode, you're like, what is happening? I've got so many ideas, same with me, so we're going to be discussing some of these ideas. So, at the end, Sherlock Wells reveals to Nora that perhaps he has the hunch that she didn't choose the satellite incident just out of the blue, that she was there, and she was like, screw it, might as well do it, that it was calculated, and apparently, according to Sherlock, he believes, even though he pretends and he covers it up and Nora senses that he's covering up, that she was in fact not alone in this decision, in actually pointing out and coming in this specific period of time. So there are two options, I feel like, and I'm sure many of you guys might have some other options, but after I watched it, I wrote down my ideas, and so the main idea obviously that comes to the head is a twin. So, as you know, this version of the character Nora Allen is based off of Dawn Allen in the comics, who has a twin brother, Don Allen, in the future. And this is the obvious choice for who it is, because you would hazard the guess if they are twins, they both want to come back, but perhaps one of them couldn't, and they calculated this would be the certain time. So, the twin is one option, but I think the better option, in my opinion, is that this is more of an evil intent. That Nora probably has good intentions, but perhaps she's been swayed by someone else in the future to come back, change the timeline, change mainly the satellite incident because it will sway something in the future that perhaps another person has persuaded her to do, so she's come back with fully good intentions. I do believe Nora is good and I don't think Nora's evil. What I'm saying is I think someone with nefarious intent could in fact be pulling her strings in that she chose that specific time to help Barry stop that satellite and I think Sherlock is getting onto there is something more sinister because I don't think it's as innocent as say just her twin and they're working together to choose that I think it's definitely more sinister than it seems. So now we move on to one of the opening parts of the episode and it was a really well put together scene and that was the Flash Museum was revealed and it's in 2032 so just 14 years in the future from now and Star Labs is turned into the Flash Museum you get to see Reverse Flash's suit, Zoom suit, Savitar's suit among many others like the Trickster you can see that in the background and this specific section in the Flash Museum is titled the Hall of Villains so it's just the villain section it's obviously very extensive past this we know they have the library in the Flash Museum various things like that and we see young Nora as our Nora narrates over as she goes over to the cicada display Nora reveals has always haunted her because they never stop cicada and this is followed by some easter eggs with Nora in present day talking about how the league tried to stop cicada but failed and also supergirl the legends and green arrow they all failed no one ever stopped cicada and so that's from her version in the future but it's revealed in the episode and this is a crucial point that Cicada came here early, that 
it's really Nora's creation as to it's a completely different person than it's supposed to be. It's supposed to be David Hirsch and it is David Hirsch and various other Earths. But with Nora changing the timeline and Sherlock Wells not knowing about it, they presumed it was this other guy, but it's in fact this new person. They actually drop a name reveal later in the episode, but it's Nora's timeline change that has created this new version of Cicada that is killing different people and presumably is going to be worse. So the next thing I want to talk about is Cicada as the main part of the episode is to do with Cisco as we go further down the line and it's Cisco being targeted by Cicada throughout the entire episodes and Cicada supposedly kills Cisco after Nora comes to the rescue with the Star Labs device that was mentioned prior in the episode where Sherlock Wells tried to fake his death in order to get out of this and essentially for a while we think Cisco's dead, everyone thinks Cisco's dead but it's revealed after Cicada goes off into the air somehow he can fly which which is very interesting that Cisco actually breached through using the same device that Supergirl uses to breach to our Earth because Nora gave it to her because she realized as she goes into flash time which was an awesome scene I have to say that there are more than one way to breach so Cisco doesn't have to use his powers they can use it via different means and so Cisco survives but Vibe is dead. So we see the newspaper article saying Vibe dead. Now to the public, Vibe is known as dead, so Cisco will not be going around as Vibe. He may be occasionally helping with the team breaching through to another place if they can't get there, but out in the public, it seems like Vibe is actually dead, and this is to keep Cicada off his tail so that Cicada doesn't come after him anymore because later on in the episode that is of crucial importance is Cicada's backstory is revealed as part of his reason as to why he's targeting Meta's killing them is because of his daughter and his daughter is in a critical condition at a hospital in Central City and he seems to be like in cahoots with this doctor so she's not telling anyone and she supposedly knows about what he's doing or at least gets the idea of what he's doing and we see Cicada's injury in his chest and it's glowing and it seems very similar to the energy that we see from his lightning bolt dagger so perhaps in the satellite incident perhaps he got the dagger from that and perhaps part of the satellite or maybe part of the dagger actually stabbed into him and creates that connection between him and the dagger. A new addition to the team in this episode was Sherlock Wells and I really enjoyed it. Obviously it's a very big stereotype with the Parisian, with the French accent and with the Sherlock Holmes like character. I really enjoyed him. I thought he was great. I love when Tom Cavanaugh does these stereotypes and plays it to a really nice way that he just creates these enjoyable characters, these different versions of Harrison Wells. I'm really looking forward to seeing more. I do want to see Harry from Earth 2 again. I'm sure we'll see him later down the line in this season. The last thing I want to mention was that later in the episode with the development with Caitlin and Ralph throughout the entire episode searching for answers, we see Caitlin's mum at one point and they know she forged the death certificate and it seems like there's a suicide note but it's actually a code for Caitlyn to find out and we get a reveal that Caitlyn's father is watching her so they're going to create the connection very soon and they're going to meet for the first time in years so I'm looking forward to that it was very mysterious and yeah so thank you guys so much for watching if you did enjoy this video please be sure to leave a like and a comment and subscribe if you're new and I'll see you guys later for my trailer breakdown goodbye Service like sharp pretty teeth.